The end is nigh. Soon, you will have to watch ads. At least that's what Google and the Chromium team are trying to make you do. Originally, the scary part of Manifest V3 was starting next month, January 1st, 2023. The first stage is any of the existing Manifest V2 plugins would no longer be promoted on the web store. Following this, in June of that same year, no new Manifest V2 plugins could be posted to the web store and any existing plugins would then be unlisted. But if you still had the plugin installed or maybe you sideloaded it from another store, it would keep working perfectly fine. And then finally, January 1st, 2024, Manifest V2 would be fully retired, any existing plugins would stop working. Now I say was and originally because Google actually delayed it. Pausing Manifest V2 phase out changes. Greetings extension devs, we've heard your feedback on common challenges posed by the migration. We're committed to providing developers solutions to migration challenges with new functionality, bug fixes, and adequate time for adoption. Now we could assume any number of reasons why this was delayed, but I have a feeling the adequate time for adoption is probably one of the major ones, because right now, I just wrote a quick script to survey extensions featured on the web store. Of the 1200 checks so far, Manifest V2, 872, Manifest V3, 328. They'd basically be breaking two thirds of their extensions. Along with this, nine out of 12 of Google's own extensions use Manifest V2, which basically means they are not ready to migrate. Now, Manifest V3 isn't all bad. It does come with a lot of benefits. But one of the main concerns that people have with it is that it severely cripples what is possible with ad blockers like uBlock Origin, AdGuard, and things like this, but not by outright breaking them. That would be a really bad play. Instead, what they do is crippling them to the point where they kind of work, but the user thinks the plugin is broken. There are manifest V3 ad blockers like AdGuard MV3 Experimental and uBlock Origin Lite, but it's almost guaranteed these will never be as powerful as their old MV2 counterparts. Now we can all agree that doing this is a bad thing, but I can't help but give them props for doing this in a really smart way. Don't let the user think the browser is broken, make them think the plugin is broken. If the plugin is broken, they stop using it themselves and you deal with none of the complaints. But not every browser is lying down and accepting this new Google paradigm, even some browsers based on Chromium. One of those browsers being Vivaldi, Manifest V3, Web Request, and Ad Blockers. All the way back in 2019 when Google first announced they were doing this, they said, ad blockers or not, your choice matters. And then in 2020, Vivaldi's ad block was built as a response to the deprecations announced in Manifest V3, with the intention that it would keep working when existing ad blocking extensions would become inoperant. The goal is to keep it working regardless of what happens regarding the extension code. Will the Vivaldi ad blocker be affected by the Manifest V3 changes? I made some architectural choices early on that I believe should keep it functional. Regardless of the Manifest V3 changes, of course, there's always a possibility that the underlying Chromium architecture will change now or in the future, forcing us to do some extra work to keep this working. So Vivaldi is committed to Adblock, but so is my browser of choice, Brave. Google's upcoming Manifest V3 update for extensions has the potential to break many ad blockers. Not really the potential, very demonstrated that it actually is going to do that. But Manifest V3 will not prevent Brave from blocking ads. We built ad blocking into the browser itself, so it will not be affected by Google changing its rules for extensions. We realize many of our users still want to use third party ad blocker extensions. To give you as many options as possible for online privacy and security, Brave will support Manifest V2 extensions such as uBlock Origin even after Chrome stops doing so. With Manifest V3, Google is harming privacy and limiting user choice. 
The bottom line though, is that Brave will continue to offer leading protection against invasive ads and trackers. Which considering the crypto is... kinda worthless now, is Brave's entire shtick. As for the other really popular Chromium browser, Opera, I'm not 100% sure where they stand in 2022. Back in 2019, they were very clearly a part of this trio saying, we are gonna keep ad blocking around, we really just don't care what Google wants to do. All the Opera browsers, both on mobile and PC, come with an ad blocker that users can enable. This means that Opera users aren't really exposed to these changes, unlike users of most other browsers. And if you're one of those people out there who bought into the Opera GX ads, the same is true for you as well. Now, the difference with Opera as opposed to Vivaldi and Brave is Opera hasn't put out a statement about this in 2022. They still do have the ad blocker, so presumably they're going to keep it working, but we're not 100% sure. Whereas another Chromium browser like Edge has this to say. Manifest V2 extensions will continue to be supported through enterprise policies at least until Chromium Manifest V2 support timeline, which is currently January 2024. Now, this is based on before things were delayed, and it's unclear where this final date is going to end up being. But this makes it sound like they're doing... something. They're actually not doing anything, because the exact same can be done in basic Chromium as well. And while these browsers plus base Chromium and Chrome cover the vast majority of Chromium users, there are some little Chromium browsers out there as well that, you know, have a handful of users. And considering that they are much smaller browsers, I expect most of them to be in basically the same camp as well, unless they go and fork the Brave source code and just rely on what they're doing. But Chromium isn't the only thing out there. The others are much smaller, but they do exist. One of those being Safari. Now, Safari's in a bit of a weird situation. So Safari 16 supports both Manifest V2 and Manifest V3. But Apple hasn't put out any statement whatsoever about dropping Manifest V2. So for the foreseeable future, it is going to be supported. Whether they follow along with Google and remove it at the start of 2024 or wherever it ends up being is unclear at this point. But considering how Apple has sort of handled advertising and data collection of people outside of them doing it, I think there is a possibility they will keep it around. But someone has asked them about exactly this over on the Apple Dev Forum. Would Safari adopt the exact standards proposed by Chromium ecosystem, such as functionalities like header-based modifications in the coming days? What would be the general timeline for this in general? Does this translate to the fact that existing standards with MV2 standards would not be allowed to operate any further as with the timeline with Chromium. And an Apple systems engineer did reply, saying literally the same thing I just said. Whatever Apple is planning to be doing, they seem to be fairly tight-lipped about it, which sort of is in line with what Apple generally does. And then there's Mozilla and Firefox. They have spoken a lot about MV2 and MV3 with their latest blog post on it being Manifest V3 signing available November 21st on Firefox Nightly. To be clear, Firefox will continue to support MV2 extensions for the foreseeable future. We'll get back to foreseeable future in just a bit. Even as we welcome MV3 extensions in the release to general availability, Firefox 109. So they're still going to be having MV3 extensions because you can't just not do that because all of the Google extensions are going to be MV3. Our goal has been to ensure a seamless transition from MV2 to MV3 for extension developers. Towards the end of 2023, once we've had time to evaluate and assess MV3's rollout, including identifying important MV2 use cases that will persist into MV3, we'll decide on an appropriate time frame to deprecate MV2. So they are not against deprecating MV2. And unlike some of those Chromium browsers, Firefox doesn't have a built-in ad blocker. I hope that they decide to not deprecate it or at least add some of those MV2 extensions into MV3 to make things like uBlock Origin or whatever else actually function like a user would expect. 
but right now it's kind of up in the air what Mozilla is going to be doing. In short, if you want to keep using Adblock, Brave and Vivaldi are actively supporting it. Opera is probably doing the same, but just not talking about it. Safari is just saying, we're just going to sit back and be Apple. We'll change it eventually, maybe, but we won't tell you when we're doing so. And then Firefox. I hope they lean on the side of privacy. That's sort of the only thing that Firefox has going for it. But if they don't, well, you know, maybe install a pie hole. That's your other option. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you already given up Adblock? Are you going to use Brave, Vivaldi, Opera? Or are you going to come up with some other solution? Let me know down below. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send me a pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel now rebranded to Brody on Games. And... That's going to be it for me. I f <laughs> Bye. I'm out. There you go.